Let me tell you real quick. A few years ago, my husband and I traveled to Saudi Arabia, to Mecca. Every Muslim is required to perform the pilgrimage or Umrah. Umrah is when you go at any time of the year you can. Pilgrimage is when all Muslims from around the world come together. Now, my husband and I were traveling to Egypt. We really had planned to just see the pyramids and other sites. And we went to see Minister Farrakhan to get his guidance on the climate at the time, this is in the 90s. And the travel, and you, you wanna go with guidance. And he said to us, well, if you're gonna be in, <laughs> in Egypt, you're gonna be very close to Mecca. So you should just go ahead and go to Mecca and do your Umrah. Well, when we attempted to get our visas to get into Mecca, we, we had a letter from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan stating that we were Muslims and they would not recognize that letter. And so my husband said to them, this man is the head of state. They said, well, we love Minister Farrakhan, but we accept him, but he can't send anybody. So my husband said, oh, so you don't recognize the leader of the nation of Islam as a head of state. Let me tell you something, he told him. The day will come when you will make pilgrimage in the West, which is written and this book, Holy Quran, condemns those who hinder men's ways from the mosque. Now you see me standing here talking. You know I'm a student national spokesperson for the minister. I'm a lawyer by profession, all right? But when I am traveling with my husband, who is the authority in our household, and when my husband steps up and takes the point like a black man is supposed to take, I don't need to talk. It's not that I can't, why should I? I don't have to. It's not my job. We have been led by this crazy white female into believing and confusing freedom and justice and equality for the woman with being a savage. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us it is the nature of the female to demand good treatment. She is the second self of Allah. His first act of creation after himself was to seek his own reflection of himself. Therefore, he had to reproduce himself. And you can't reproduce yourself with something less than yourself. So he went in his own mind his own subconscious, and from himself he produced a second self called woman. Water seeks this level. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, don't call her a goddess. She's a god, brother, just like you. That's what he told the men. But we are allowing ourselves, male and female, we are the mothers and fathers of civilization. The black man is a god. He is the maker. He is the owner. He is the cream of the planet Earth. He is God of the universe. And one of the first requirements he must meet to hold that position is to protect, provide for, and respect and demand respect from all others for his woman. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to the black man, 
and message to the black man. Brother, I don't care what degrees you have. I don't care how much money you have. The whole world will make mockery of you if you do not respect your woman. Why? She is the vessel through which you reproduce yourself. She is your immortality. She is the means by which you exert your territorial rights and your territorial rights are the entire universe. You can't do that with the female of a made man. 